What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class yet. I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. 31. Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ blessed. Welcome to another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Ayam. Soldier at the L. All praises. And today's topic, we're going to jump right into it. And it's vital to us growing in the truth, all right? As men of war, of leader, as leaders. Uh, the topic is dangers, the danger of being self-willed. The danger of being self-willed, all right? Being self-willed uh, and get you killed and get others killed. Why? Because we're not moving in the spirit of unity. In the spirit of what? Order. Order and structure. All right. Let's get that in Hebrews 13 and 17. Because the Bible deals with order throughout the whole Bible from, from front to back, from Genesis to Revelation. All right. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 17. Uh-huh. Obey them that have rule over you mm -hmm. and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they must give an account that they may do it with joy. And not with grief. So we as leaders have to what? Watch. We watch for your soul. We protect the body. We protect the men as we go out there to war with the minds of our people spiritually. We have to protect them. We can't put them in harm's way. You understand? That's why a lot of brothers, they can't go to camp because they're not ready spiritually. They're not spiritually ready to go to camp. Why? Because they self will They're going to end up doing something that's going to what? Endanger everybody at camp. As well as sins. Sin, when it's brought forth in the midst of righteousness, in the midst of you out there trying to fight uh, uh, with the minds of our people, for the minds of our people, it can bring forth what? Death. To who? Everybody that's out there. All right? Because of your sins. All right? So I'm going to get the definition of self-will. The self-will definition is uh, doing what one wants in spite of the wishes or orders of others. So basically it's saying, doing what you want to do. Basically. Re disregarding the leaders that set forth order and structure. That's what it's saying. All right? Uh, abstinent. The word abstinent. We go get that definition. Give me Hebrew, I mean, First Corinthians 14 and 40. All right? But I'm going to read the definition of uh, abstinent. It says... Stub, uh, stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or cho a chosen choice of action despite attempts to persuade one to do so. So it's saying basically that your self will. All right? Uh, when brothers move in this fashion, you're bringing forth danger to the men around you, to the congregation. All right? Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. Uh -huh. Let all things be done decently and in order. They say all things must be done decently and in order. Decently and in order. When you're self will as the definition we just read, you're going outside of the order that's established. All right? 1 Timothy 1 and 5. Throughout this whole Bible, order is being, I'm sorry, Titus 1 and 5. Order is being established. Paul, when we read in the New Testament, he's establishing what? Churches. What's being put forth in these churches? Order. From the head man on down, order is set up. All right, read that. Titus chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. For this cause left I thee in Crete, mm -hmm. that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. He said that I should set in order... The things that are want, wanting mean lacking. It's a lack, first off, within our community of what? Order and structure. Leaders. All right? Everybody can't be the quote-unquote head nigga in charge. Right? H-N-I-C. Right? You have to have order and structure. All right? But everybody plays a body, a part of the body together. All right? There's no big eyes and little U's. It's we. Right? 
It's the 12 tribes worldwide, all right? So from there, let's go to Sirach 30 and 8. Sirach chapter 30 and verse 8. Because in order, everything has to be what? Established, all right? 30 and 8. Sirach chapter 30, verse 8. Uh -huh. An horse not broken becometh headstrong. You say a horse not broken becometh headstrong. Meaning that horse basically go do what the hell it want to do. Just like a brother that comes in here and thinks because he learned some precepts, he now has the knowledge that soldier that's been here for some time, officer that's been here for some time, captain, deacon, bishop, so on and so forth. And now he thinks he have a bright idea that's going to do what? Affect the body. All right? Because what? He hasn't been broken. Right? He's been thinking on his own for too long. Read. And a child left to himself will be willful. They say a child left to himself will be willful. I'll, you got to remember, coming in this truth, what has, to, what has to happen? You have to be broken down. That prideful spirit has to be broken down. The spirit of I think I know everything has to be broken down. You understand? A self-willed spirit won't maintain in the body of Christ. You understand? Because there's only one Lord and Savior. Who is that? <laughs> Jesus the Christ. You made Jesus the Christ, but you have a part to play in this movement. You understand? So you have to be broken down. Right? That's your pride. Going back to the pride where in the world, the world will tell you based off your degrees, your, your accolades, your position that you're the man. And now you would think the same thing when you come in here in these doors that I can move how I want. I can now set order and, and you know, bring these brothers over here and, and do what you want to do. But now you can't do that because you're, you're endangering the body. You're endangering everybody in here. Right? Because the, the father would have called you in here before the other men is, is set forth. All right, keep reading. Oh, no, that's it. Was that it? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, brother, with this, this type of spirit, uh, lead others because they don't understand how to what? Follow. Brothers like this, they think they got it. They think what they see on YouTube or, or whatever platform that we own, I can do that. Not knowing this is a spiritual walk. These, this is spiritual because these men have what? Experience. They know how to move. They've been here doing what? Following. All right? Not being self-willed. All right? You have to be broken spiritually to be built up spiritually. All right? Third John 1 and 9. Third John 1 and 9. We're going to see uh, about that spirit of Brothers want to do their own thing. Read that. The book of 3 John, chapter 1, verse 9. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, mm -hmm. who loved to have the preeminence mm -hmm. among them, receiveth us not. So this is the type of spirit that has to be broken. Because, again, give an example. Somebody coming out of the world that have status, that have clout, that have positions, they don't understand what it means to be a follower. They don't understand that this spirit has to be broken out of them. You understand? You have to be put forth in your position. What the Lord needs you, not what you want to be, but what God see fits that you be. This spirit here will not work in the order that the Most High is setting up in any organization. All right? Diotrephes didn't meet them because he wanted to have what? The preeminence. He the one wanted to have the he the one wanted to be in charge, basically. That's what's going on. That spirit will not maintain in the body. You understand? It goes back to 2018. Some brothers had that spirit within them. That's why they're not here anymore. Because the Most High took their spirits from them. All right? That willing spirit has to be able to follow. Can't be a self-willed spirit. All right? From there, Sirach 32 and 9. Sirach 32 verse 9. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 9. Uh -huh. If thou be among great men, mm -hmm. make not thyself equal with them. So Diotrephes, he, did, he, he, he made himself equal with Paul and the leaders that came forth that set up the order. 
The order had already been established before Diotrephes was set up. But because Diotrephes has a what? A self-will and preeminent spirit, he can't follow the order that's set up. Diotrephes got spirits on it. You coming in them doors, don't be Diotrephes. You understand? Come with the mind to humble yourself and follow. Humble yourself and get broken, meaning built up in the scriptures. Get your spirit built up. Because you're sick coming in here. You don't know right from wrong. You only know what the lust of your flesh tells you. All right? Was that it? Keep reading. And when ancient men are in place, mm -hmm. use not many words. When ancient men are in place, use not many words. That means That basically means the men with experience. The men that's been doing this for years. You got to look at this spiritually. You're a newborn babe that's coming, walking through those doors. How can a baby tell his mother or father what to do? You come in here speaking uh, uh, Latin to us, Google God, God, all right? Meaning you come in here speaking the things of the world, speaking those things that you learn in the world. Scriptures say the, the things of this world is foolishness to God. Your accolades, your degrees, all those things don't matter to the most high God. But your humbleness do, because those things, if you come in the right spirit and get broken to be built up spiritually, then those things can, uh, can benefit the body. You understand? Let's go to Maccabees 5 and 55. First Maccabees? First Maccabees, yes, sir. First Maccabees 5 and verse 55. All right, let's see. All our positions and skills and gifts play roles. All right? Uh, read that. First Maccabees chapter 5, verse 55. Uh -huh. Now what time as Judas and Jonathan were in the land of Galad, and Simon his brother in Galilee, mm -hmm. before Ptolemies, Joseph and the son of Zacharias, mm -hmm. and Azarias, mm -hmm. captains of the garrisons, heard of the valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. So they heard of the wars that their brothers had they went to. We hear this, you know, as young men coming in. A lot of you young men may hear of the wars. Meaning we go into these different blitz in Kansas City, in Chicago, Old Block. Uh, man, we've been all over. Uh, other countries as well, all right, in the Bahamas. But the point is they hear the wars that our forefathers, the, the, the men of renown here today on earth, have been going to, all right, and fighting. And it put a spirit on them, all right? Let's keep reading. Verse 57. There's nothing wrong with, to be able to put that spirit of war like and being able to go fight for your people, the mind of your people. But it's a way that you do that. Right? You have to be built up to do that. Go ahead. Wherefore they said, let us also get us a name and go fight against the heathen that are round about us. So their perspective and their mindset is let us go and get a name. It's not about your name. It's not about trying to gain the honor or respect of man, you got to remember why, the whole premise of why we're doing what we're doing. And we go out there to war for the minds of our people, right? It's, it's not about you. That's vanity, all right? But you want to go out there to edify. And the scriptures say, yeah, let another man praise thee, right? But they have the wrong mindset already, right? Because they're being self-willed, all right? Go ahead. So when they had given charge unto the garrison that was with them, they went toward Gemaniah, mm -hmm. the man that then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. Okay, hold on. Go to First Maccabees two and fifty, right quick, and we go go back. First Maccabees two and fifty. First Maccabees chapter two, verse fifty. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. So this is the mindset they had, which is not the wrong mindset. But they did it in the mindset of, let us go get a name. Let us go and become who our forefathers are, but with the wrong intentions. All right? It's not about you getting a name. All right? It's about you fighting for what? The minds of your people. All right? Go back. Verse... Uh, no, 57. Yes, sir. For it's Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 57. Mm -hmm. Therefore they said, let us also get us a name mm -hmm. and go fight against the heathen 
that are round about us. Uh-huh. So when they had given charge unto the garrison that was with them, they went toward where Jemina, Jemnia, when, then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them. Mm-hmm. And so it was that Joseph and Azarias were put to fight. Well, what? Were put to fight. They died. They were put to flight. All right. Why? Because they saw what their forefathers were doing. Right. But they weren't ready to do that. They weren't built for the fight yet. All right. You have to be built to go out there and war for the minds of your people. You're going to get guns. I'm, I'm talking about today, the spiritual fight. Right. You're going to get guns poured out on you. You're going to get stabbed. You're going to get knives pulled out on you. You're going to get in fights. You understand? They're going to try to run you off the block, but it's not going to work. Why? Because you've been tested. You've been battle proven to be able to stand boldly for the word of God. All right. Keep reading. Finish that up. And so it was that Joseph and Azariah were put to flight Uh and pursued unto the borders of Judea. Mm -hmm. And there were slain that day of the people of Israel about two thousand men so because these men were self-willed they hated themselves and they hated their nation that's what happens when brothers move on impulse because you don't understand the battle you're not built for the battle yet wait your time get built up then you can be able to go and fight in the battle all right spiritually again so they they had two thousand men got put to flight they died following these self-willed men Let's get some more examples. Acts 5 and 36. Acts 5 and 36. These examples of self-willed men, as you see, people die when brothers are self-willed. You're putting your brothers in harm's way, showing you don't give a damn about them. All right, let's read. Acts chapter 5, verse 36. Uh-huh. For before the, these days rose up Theudas, boasting himself to be somebody. Mm-hmm. To whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves. So brothers like that, they, they, can, they speak well, all right? They got the gift of gab. They can talk. They can like the heat men to themselves, all right? Keep going. Who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Mm-hmm. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee mm-hmm. in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him. Mm -hmm. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. So you see that? When brothers are self-willed, this is what happens. People die. But your lives are in their hands. You understand? Your lives are in their hands, the leaders, those that's battle-tested, those that have the experience to be able to take you out to war, and then everybody come back safe. No man is left behind. No man is injured. You understand? That's the mindset of a true leader. All right? From there, let's go to what I want. Uh, do, 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 do. Acts 24 and 5. All right? So men will die because you are self selfish and look to do whatever it takes to do what? Get a name. That's, that's our people mindset. Vain glory. All right. Uh, let's see another spirit that brothers battle with as well. Read that. Acts chapter 24, verse 5. Mm-hmm. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow. A and pestilent a, fellow. I mean, he get on our damn nerves. Go ahead. And a mover of sedition. A mover of what? Of sedition. Of sedition. A mover of sedition. Let's read the definition of sedition. Conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. So it's, you incite people to do what? Rebel. That's what this brother is. It, uh, 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 what do you call him again? Read again. Acts 24 and 5. Acts chapter 24 verse 5. Uh-huh. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow. He's a pestilent fellow. I mean annoying. All right. Somebody pestilence, they annoying. All right, go ahead. And a mover of sedition. A mover of sedition. Outside of what we've been taught. Outside of the order that's set forth, we're moving outside of that. Go ahead. Among all the Jews Mm -hmm. throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. This person normally brings what with him? New doctrines. 
He heat men to themselves and bring forth new doctrines. Now the cancer infects who? The whole body. Now you at camp, because this brother somehow get to camp with you. He's proving himself in some type of level. Now new doctrines are coming out of camp. Now you got to pull them down. Now you got to reprove this brother because what? He's self-willed. He's moving in that spirit. But a wise man, leaders in amongst the congregation, he's going to see that man and remove him because that spirit is, is blatant. Uh, Galatians 5 and 26. All right. So, brothers, I pray y'all getting something from this uh, because you brothers that go out to war, you brothers that are in a, these different positions in the, in the body, y'all can't move in this spirit. All right. Galatians 5 and 26. Galatians chapter 5 verse 26. Uh -huh. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Those examples that we've read spoke about them getting a name. Spoke about them heaping men to themselves. And every time that happened, what happened? People die. It's very dangerous. Keep reading. Provoking one another, mm -hmm. envying one another. That's what the that's what the whole part of it. It's, it's a lot of different layers to it, but that's another layer to it. Envying one another, they see what these men have done. Now I want to emulate that man, not in righteousness, but in wickedness. All right, Philippians two one through five. Because the Most High has a position for you, brother, but the Scripture says, "Well, wait on your ministry." Go ahead. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. Yes, sir. If there be therefore any consolation mm -hmm. in Christ, mm -hmm. if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. So the Bible is telling you that y'all have to be on one accord. That's what 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 say. Everything that we say and speak, the judge, it's going to be the same. We're not going to, you go say one thing and I'm going to say something else. No, we're all on one accord. Go ahead. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. That's that, that uh, envy. When brothers want to go and let's get, let me get a name, strife and vainglory. Go ahead. But in lowliness of mind, mm -hmm. let each esteem other better than themselves. That mean, lowliness means humbleness. Everybody in this truth. Especially you men that go out to war for the minds of your people should be humble. Take direction. Take instructions. All right, go ahead. Look not every man on his own thing. That's a self-will, brother. He go look on the things he want to do. I see a better way. Let me move. Go ahead. Every man also on the things of others. Uh -huh. Let your job is to be responsible for those that's around you. Go ahead. Let this mind be in you, mm -hmm. which was also in Christ Jesus. We have to move in the same mindset as Christ. Last one. Uh, Sirach 3317. All right. Christ moved with what? Teaching who? The 12. The 12 to the 70. So on and so forth. All right. He made basically duplicates of himself. You know what I'm saying? And they kept the process and the order going, just like we're doing today. Go ahead. Sirach, chapter 33, verse 17. Uh -huh. Consider that I labored not for myself only, mm -hmm. but for all them that seek learning. You say, I labor not for myself only. Because that's what a self-willed mind brother, a vain brother, an envy brother, a pestilent brother, a sedition brother, a preeminence brother, all those spirits. He's not thinking about the body. He's thinking about himself. Read it one more again. Consider that I labored not for myself only, uh -huh. but for all them that seek learning. Our job is to labor to bring in what? The 144,000, the multitude, all those that are going to repent. Understand? So with that, Israel, I pray y'all got something from the class. Uh, to next time, we're going to say shalom and most our Christ bless. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
destroying 